everything I just said for the last two minutes. Okay, I prefer I prefer um, Omen on this map. Dude, why was I so sure it was Pal? I, I even did the prediction. I even typed out Haven. Okay, ignore the last five minutes, it didn't happen. Giants on defense, NRG on attack. Just for clarification, I prefer the Omen on this map. <laughs> okay, let's go in. Broken time, but Cloud Force to just push away from this angle. And this is a really heavy B commit from Giants. They're pretty confident that it's going to be a B planned. This is something that's really good, again, with the Omen. Just being able to flash this, stun this, means that you can full exec from A long. So that's something that they can do that's really nice. Not in the location he was expecting. Dropped out of five health still. Opens himself wide there. Again, land sound is a little bit. Uh, different to being online, so sometimes you won't be hearing the plants as good as you would on uh, online. Oh. Nice trade, Artist did great, kill one. I'm really expecting Artist to pop here. Yeah. Get him away from this one. Short cleared out at the end of the day, but plant location not too Whoa! wide. Here. Um. A very wide swing, and now this could get more than dangerous. Off the spike, but time was Oof. poor. Yeah, I gotta be honest. Think time, I think time was fine there, anyway. But, but yeah, so did right. I. Energy had bought enough time at that point. Just deciding to go for the double swing to make sure Giant. Yeah, I was, I was a little bit scared. That was close. Okay, nice pistol Overall, from Energy. Giant's still looking a little dangerous on these retakes. They're clearly comfortable with a heavy retake style. That's one of the big, you know, differences between teams, whether they decide to fight really heavy and reinforce the players like Cloud who are holding the site early, or whether they're just happy to back off and play full retake. Okay, full so eco. A lot of retake style from two sheriffs. In terms of this, we have two guns that they want to keep into the next round, and three people, they're kind of expendable. That's a pretty similar defensive setup from Giants still. Those three players... Holding towards yeah, the two guns that they definitely want to keep it into the next round. Pistols, close range so we'll see how much they group up and make sure that they go into the hands of the people that survive. In terms of this, looking like they're thinking they're going to go garage, but actually over towards A again. How many times are we just going to hit A without taking short? Wouldn't go towards that direction, expecting them to run the same so, uh, sort Big of question mark here at the moment. Yeah. They really believe by making all this sound that they've pulled a rotation over towards A. Of a map. Giants it holding strong. Lead you to lot of uh, lot of C. Got a well, big C stack in terms of all five of them. Fake. A fake on the eco in terms of an A hit. We had a stun, we had the omen flash, and double smoke. So that is everything used. Now we have to go into this site without smoke, so they're probably gonna... They, they were kind of hoping for a rotate, to be honest, and they were gonna catch people here. They're gonna think everyone's here. That's why they've used a recon here. Actually, Giants are in an okay position, but gun disadvantage here should be a bit of a cleanup for some of these players. They're playing everyone off site. I mean, Astra has... Oh, it's so unlucky. Astra has no smokes. The potential to get dangerous, but still the weapons are in the hands of the NRG players that hopefully sails them away to a win in this round. This is awkward, though, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, keeping an eye on FNS. Very awkward, but it was trying to buy that time for FNS, I think, to try and take that. It felt fine. Flank all the way through the A site, and only two remaining. Just trying to go for the jumping what? right click kills. Ryan was gifted with one. Oh, okay, that was this. Okay. Still safe hands for them. Yeah, safe hands. They managed to keep yeah. some decent weaponry heading into the bonus. Bit of a fake early on from NRG. Nice from Giants, just holding strong. Got, uh, it was two kills in the end. On Lotus. So, I'd like to have seen that be a little cleaner in terms of the decisions and positions. Um, I actually have playing. no idea about that. Nice idea for our FNS to go for the post-plant flank. Yeah. And certainly Giants are going to have to watch out for that. All right, a four-player stack from Giants over towards A this time too. And NRG have just decided... No, oh, we're going in the complete opposite direction. You know, a lot of this can be mind games and the IGLs do it work, but sometimes you need a bit of luck too. Yeah, sometimes you're flipping a coin and coming up quite well here. You can see that NRG offloaded. It's a very top. nice hit. Okay, Sight. they've done the hardest part, which is getting over towards the site. Priority is this pause here. Artist should probably go there. Ooh, are we just going to full play off the plant then? Okay. Astra smoke and Astra staying alive is very important for this one. Post plan position on C long. 
Only one player left on site. No, Astra's playing late garage, and you need the smoke for site. Giants not playing this too well, in my opinion. If this Astra goes down right now, well, okay. I think this should be an okay round for NRG. Nice smoke to play around. Holy hell. Yeah, this is uh, worrying for Giants, to be honest with you. Giants just need to evacuate out of there, save the rifles that they can. Nice run from NRG. Smoke from Som. You see yeah, there's a cool little lock smoke. Dance around, yeah. And they're trying to rip every weapon out of the hands of giants. Oh, what a dink as well. Yeah, Som's going to want to fight that one. He certainly <laughs> is, and he's going to win it. NRG oh, so at the moment look like they're exploiting Rhyme in terms of being on Astra and not smoking the spike really enough because they're doing a lot of afterplants. They require the smoke, the uh, smoke on the spike, and it's just at least two out of the last two rounds we haven't seen it happen. Round before um, was literally because he didn't have a star. This round here did have a star, but they didn't have sight control, so they weren't sure about garage. And then they pushed mid, and then obviously Astra was here. So really, really great showcase from him. Giants eco on this one. Four sheriffs. Pressure that's being applied by giants. Yeah, good amount of pressure again. We do manage to keep two people here. Smoke's great. Heading over towards Insta towards B again. So B every single time against the Ecos. Nice combo to try and get a kill. Doesn't yield them anything. Good pressure created behind. Hoodie will probably just go and join teammates. Astra this time has two smokes, so there we go. Smoking this off and smoking the spike off. So Insta touch over towards the spike should happen at one point. Oh, I mean, on an island. There's Dunzo. no support whatsoever here. And no A reflank, no garage reflank. So this is just going to be a weird spray yes. battle. I don't like these rounds very no. often. Nah, it's so okay really, because really the other... Really we don't have another smoke Swing anymore. All the way through. We only have a... Uh, play with the rifles, play with the spam. And here we go. Hoodie could have been a difference maker there, but it's just down. Anuki one shot found. And a weak enough player that Ardis... Oh, right down to the 1v1 spam. Holy hell. Got pretty close. Again, after plant here with a smoke might be a different round in terms of smoking the spike. So that's kind of three out of three rounds in terms of, I think, the window of opportunity has been missed in terms of the smoke, sir. So it was good damage from uh, Giants, though. They did great in terms of the actual eco itself. But still, in terms of the bigger picture, having an extra smoke on the spike here could, uh, could have changed some of these rounds. So Artist on jet, dude, it's just a, it just hits so ball, different. But I'm kind of worried in the way that they're doing it. It doesn't seem consistent to me when Giants It's such a big comparison, like yeah. him on a jet or a chamber to any other agent. Like here. it really is. Uh, his KO actually has position. been not so too bad. They are aware of that actually. There was a shot fired through the smoke, so Som's gonna be calming that. Okay, another B as well, dude. So much more aggressive and confident with his yeah, they're kind of just he is going to go leaning heavy towards B. B Did the so bold, I actually think that he took forward. back the alarm bot instead of letting it get uh, shot. I'm going to see. If this comes up in the next 15 seconds, what they did there is they saw the Sova mid and then they told him to get rid of his alarm bot. Right now, so that's kind of impressive. So that should be coming up like now if that's the case. Goal is for that to yeah, there we go. Okay, interesting. Someone, but really well yeah, that's pretty cool. They saw the sober, and then they just replaced it down now at middle after the shock dots are gone. So that was that's like a cool little thing. But as we can see at the moment, C very weak with an Astra solo hold pretty hard. You kind of have to use double star here. Pressure's now on. Rhyme trying to anchor this one. It's at the back of the site. It's an aftershock. All that util being used, lighting them up. Do they know about this? Rhyme, to be honest, did great. That's the important jewel. Crash, he's got two. Got an extra one through the smoke. Had no idea about it. All comes down to secure this as well, and energy are absolutely flying. Completely unintentional collateral kill there. And this NRG exec on the C is pretty lovely. Yeah. We've seen it a bunch of times now. They pulled it out against Koi. They used it as a fake against Koi as well in round 12. It's really well coordinated. It sets artists up for success. There's a lot of utility coming towards those giant anchors. And they just couldn't hold on. Enough money in the Extra 3,000 for everyone that survives. Four people that don't have to buy anything. So money's crazy. Gonna have a 9k. I don't know what Som's playing out here. Take the turret out, make sure they don't have it for the next round, you know? 
Important economical yeah, things. Course. NRG look to be exploiting a lot of how Giants play. <laughs> and it's a lot to do around the Astra at the moment. <laughs> Look at this though, you've got the free cam angle of all of the utility that's getting used. And Ardis is put really deep into the site. Which <laughs> Damn, that second kill is just, yeah, look at this. If Ardis goes down, oh. the trades are there. There's that kill though on Tanuki. Which was been unlucky. really unfortunate from Giants. What a, what a contrast the map wants. Okay, pause coming in. Giants can do anything different, to be honest. Then there's a lot to talk about. A lot, a lot to talk about. Sometimes on the inside, it's not that obvious in terms of what's going on. So we might see Kildra go heavier over towards C. I'm not too sure. There's a lot of stuff they could do. NRG having a much better start here. And I think, I think it's fair to say they're not playing perfectly either, but they are definitely so comfortable on Haven that even them playing with a few holes in their game yeah, probably something more aggro time. with the jet, either and top B, top really C, down to, down somewhere. At least for this round, for sure, because they don't have good guns into this, so they'll just be trying to enable the jet. The jet's definitely going aggro here, but NRG will know this. We had no idea coming into this series, because Giants just didn't get pushed enough for us to be able to tell against detonation. That first map of Lotus, though, should inspire Yeah, it's true. It's always, it's always been rhyme sight at the moment. want to see them do well. That Lotus win, they did so much stuff well. The question for me is, can they bring it on maps where NRG have demonstrated excellence in the past? And it's quite a brave decision, honestly, picking Haven to a player like FNS, but agreed. All right, what's the change up here? So up down here, in terms of what we're buying with the saved guns, just Sheriff, Sheriff, Sheriff. We have a lot of ults, probably not going to see them unless they decide, uh, unless they decide, unless they get some kills. That should kill the alarm bot. That's the alarm bot gone. So good pressure made from the server. Trying to get the, trying to get the gun in a position and a lot of info as well. So I like this. This is good over towards here. At the moment, this is pretty nice for Giants. Just waiting. They know I know they have the worst guns, but it's good. NRG. Okay, smoke over towards A. So that's actually a big... Oh, what the hell? Okay, Fatinho gets a kill. So at least the ult going off made them go a little bit faster in uh, and hit them, made them go into this little stack. Hoodie has no idea. What a lurk timing. Garage, oh boy. No one was really watching it. I think actually they oh boy. Off the turret and he's well, still here, still just put him on jet every map. What a play. Fantastic from NRG. I'm confused why Giants didn't try to get the punish onto Crashies there. Yeah, they I just they just didn't think that anyone was pushing but down, I guess. Overall there, nice setup. Yeah. NRG noting that they can take garage control, smoke up the turret. Yeah, maybe that's uh, Som that was when was I'm, I'm pretty sure the comms came in, it's just the fact that no one expected anyone to do this move this fast, I guess. That's like the only thing that I can really think about. It definitely was, uh, definitely should have been better. He's alternated it slightly towards B on a couple of the rounds, but mostly been playing this setup. If somebody recognizes it, like some for example, they could definitely call an on-the-fly play like that. And it worked nicely. And the other thing, Brent, too, is I think from Giants' point oh. of view, they need to start recognizing. <laughs> well, good that luck. There is very rarely somebody behind Crashy's drone in a box. <laughs> okay. They get every gun out of them. They can buy next Giants, but in terms of the actual scoreline, 6 0, this is very, very brutal. And they've just used a timeout. But here we go in terms of the best round, best chance that they've had, probably into the whole half to win uh, a round, other than the actual third round where they had better guns. Really unusual. But so far, this has just been an FNS playground, right? Yep. So many good plays, setting up artists on the jet. Map they are very, very comfortable on. Okay, shock again to break the alarm bot at middle. Looking like that's going to hit again. I'm pretty sure that's the same one that got wrecked. Well, oh. spamming that angle down into mid. He's been doing okay, that that's well. him bringing it back that's again. The shock dart, I don't think did enough damage yeah. to break the alarm bot, but so it didn't do enough damage. Anyway. That's the that's the change up, I guess. Because they, ga they gave it like 20 HP, right? So he actually gave it back. So he's going to... Basically what happened is Nukia tried to call to him saying that he saw the shock. Tried to make sure they picked it up. As we could see, it was bad timing, but it didn't do enough damage anyway. So alarm bot is back up. 
and he's going to want to go put this front of B. Yeah, you got to be wondering where exactly could they be? The alarm bot that was pulled back earlier, Hoodie places that one back down to the front side of B, so hopefully that eases some of their concerns. I'd like to see Cloud <laughs> the, <laughs> the shock thoughts are doing pretty good at breaking the utils so far. A lot, uh, pretty much uh, was almost close to the alarm bot here. Obviously worked last round, and they broke this as well. Defensive Astro ult, but it still allows the plants. Okay, that's fine. You ult behind it because they're all in a line. Okay, it all makes sense now. It's a lot of damage done, but no kills going their way, and time is now starting to run particularly low. What's the retake idea here? Rolling Thunder through to connect. Uh, this is RG trying to take the fight right. Tino did great to kill one. Not sure if he was stunned up, but again, taking the fights well, making sure that they can trade each other out. Artis still playing at high ground angle. He's spotted out. Okay, Artis has to go huge here. Oh, that's not it. Sort of aggression, but it's just being watched for. And so Damn, Trying nice. Nice Jaws. Nice Jaws coming into this one. Okay, they managed to get around. A lot of all choose into this one, though. Okay, uh, yeah, I didn't understand the... Didn't understand the uh, Astra ult until I saw them... Until I saw the actual uh, combo in terms of the Sova ult. So, not too bad. Rhyme surviving on 1 HP as well. Pretty close Jaws came into that. They need to get a lot in a row to break this economy, though. Seems questionable even with the Sova ult. Yeah, I kind of agree with you, but at least we saw an idea behind it. Like, at least it made sense to us. Again, would have been working for them in practice, so... Notch, honestly, it definitely has, especially on the break. Whoa, this is crazy! Ooh. Yeah, very, very aggressive angle from Patino. Yeah, stuck around for a long time. Keep an eye on the killjoy luck, well, and so we're probably going to see the same hit with the stun here. Home and flash over towards him. Yeah, I definitely think you're right, Brent. A looks so weak for Giants. This is the first time NRG are properly testing it. There's a stun on that corner. There's the Omen Flash. They split up a little bit. Hit that second kill. Damn. This guy. Gorgeous shots. And Nookie's done such a great job at sending in breach utility and reinforcing the side matches. Oh, okay. Two on four goes down to a two on two. With this. Nope. Okay. Aha. Asher tried to just. Oh, the timing on that was not the best. Crashies, big round from him. Nice shots hit. Giants are going to be looking back at that and going mad. Yeah. You are not favored, but if you got the skills, you get rewarded massively. 10 and 3 Crashies. Putting on a masterclass. Damn, that second swing came in real late. Crashies to me was the MVP of the match. And oh, it's really falling that apart. Was Haven, that was on Icebox. Yeah. That was him playing Sova. So good for it. And Cloud had a phenomenal debut. Probably the best debut we've seen. Again, a lot of teams will have rounds like this and to yeah, punish the alarm bot going so over. Uh, sorry, the turret the going over really towards him. That's it. And that's why you saw. Um, <clears throat> that's why you actually saw. Uh, not given a DRX step. actually have like a lineup for their turret to just make sure that they're out fast enough so they don't get stunned. Interesting thing about him as well is that he is. Chad, do you want. <coughs> they're kind of quiet. Do you want this up a little bit? I'm just going to put it like here. Right now, the, the contact reach layer in there. Not really too much backup, but this is the play that's being made by NRG. It's a fake. They're trying to. Really this is a nice fake. Let's keep an eye on Cloud over towards shot. He's going to hear the dash, so. It's a good amount of info here. Weaponry hasn't been as good. Short is still a question mark. You could see with the util that they're using to try and clear it. You saw FNS using. Oh, sorry, Victor. Using oh, okay. And I'm fully wrong. Yeah, not expecting that angle was going to be watched for. 
This should still be safe, though. The lockdown being used on side by Victor <laughs> should cement this one. They had a flank coming through from Sol. Just well. Orcs as well, just securing it. Again, important to just keep their economy as, kind of I guess, as uh, <laughs> high as it's gone. C just opens the door on A so often. Could oh, Fatinio be a. Nah, Fatinio has already used all of his. Late storm's there. gone, yeah. This is a brutal first half for Giants. They will have been wanting to hang to some degree. Obviously, NRG's attack side has been their best in this tournament. Haven, FNS Playground, obviously. We know all of these things. And then yeah, they will go down to make sure they get enough money. This map, an over 70% win rate on their attack side. So, this is rough at the moment for Giants. Over, Again, so NRG have looked really good, but... Yeah, there's a lot of stuff Giants can look back on from this one. I do think that the game plan at the beginning as well from NRG was great to kind of exploit over towards how they play after plants. Like how they play the retakes on this map at least. So. Okay. Can they can they at least double this? We have two people over towards C, straight up C here. The site you're going to see a fast play from the NRG now with the pressure. Is on a player like Ryan once again trying to anchor. He's been playing in that spot. The out shot comes through. Now Recon. Zero on top of it. Recon comes in as well. Alice, just spamming into the smoke and still getting value from this, but they're not really taking control of this smoke from Ryan that was set up earlier. Has caused a lot of problems. And Hoodie anchoring at Damn, the Damn, they're just so the good at their spacing again. at the they, moment in terms of NRG. This is looking like a massive difference. Exactly. They're struggling, NRG. Giants. Putting on a masterclass in terms of how they're taking it, how they're using their utility, and you can't over rotate against it because they make it sometimes a fake. Yeah. I mean, it's just beautiful Valorant. It's been a very Giants rough map for them. Here, even with Cloud getting that pick, they don't want to risk it in the 2v3 yeah. where they've got no money heading into round 11. Gotta save the operator. I just love what NRG are doing there. The yeah, NRG are just doing it. uses an early flash and then a deep flash. Fault line down the right side. Paranoid On all of these important rounds as well, they're heading in. over towards C a lot. They, they take control of the front of the site, and the only problem in my head with that execute is that they don't have very much utility to take back site control. Sure. But you see how they do it is just by trading effectively through the smokes. Yep. Pushing through. Yeah, Ardis and Victor working together to just clear out any of those players in back, uh, players in back site. Giants here, they just need, don't know, they need some kind of op presence again. I think like when they had the op over towards C, that was their best chance. It's just the fact that Ardis did this. So I think the op C actually had like the most potential out of all the rounds. This might work, they're going aggro over towards short, but I also see a lot of pings over towards short as well. So it feels like they're just way ahead of them with this one. We're going to have recon here and then stun. Oh bro, Fatino's in a... Fatino is going to get nothing from this, right? I mean, they just know. They have to... <sighs> nice shot, though. Did Ardis see the barrel of the op? Judging by this reaction... Hmm. I'm not sure. When Nookie gets another fault line, he might be able to set Fatino up, but I think that's going to be too late in the round. NRG taking a ton of space down short. Oh, boy. Fatinho is going to take contact soon. I everything. I mean, he's walking backwards. Shouldn't be favoured, but no, he's found the angle in time. And nice shot. The shot's there. Doesn't have the dash to get out, but at least smoke the cross. Okay, looking good to double so their scoreline, but I'm still kind of worried. Three players up, including this spike that's just sitting on crashes. We saw a two on four lost earlier. Time in the round to play with to see if they can Maybe this one. Players. This Did the jump spot see? No, I see no ping, so I don't think so. Usually they haven't been able to get a player advantage before the. Okay, we are playing through. retake over towards this site. Crashes onto the site quite easily there. Shock that. <laughs> Cloud was playing so super defensive with them, he did not want to make sure there was any pixel of him showing, that's why the shock dots weren't the best. Are they going to push and flash spawn? Oh, this might work. How close is everyone going to be? It should be fine, as long as these players move forwards instead of back, it's okay. Oh, they're just buying time with it. Oh my... Absolute masterclass from him. Still players remain. They just it was very nice the position from NRG though. Very, very nice shot. position from NRG. The double the How double close was great. Insane but yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I could kind of feel it on the three on five. It just didn't feel nothing feels comfortable at the moment when I'm watching Giants on this map. 
I think they've normally been pretty good on this, but FNS has just kind of exploited a lot of that. A lot of their stuff. Some degree, keep NRG reeling and on the back foot and always uncomfortable because the double when you allow them the to double to bait close map, was I'm so nice. Yeah. Going to a third map, ten one up. <laughs> hey, we've seen some comebacks, but this would be extraordinary. Uh, NRG are just going to feel so comfortable there, yeah. heading into Icebox. NRG is such a difficult team to play against on this map. And this is just going to reinforce the narrative. Okay, one chance to double it up. Yeah. Last buy for them. <laughs> we have server all. We have so breach all. Turret's in the same position that it's usually been in. So no adjustments on the setup from Hoodie. And it's going to be dropped into Barrage there. And now Rolling Thunder as well. It's a bit of a pincer maneuver. Players moving all the way up. Cloud choosing to offload that Hunter's Fury. He does get one Important kill. Important draw one. Okay. Well the space created. Good the chance to double one. this up. They might not anticipate it, but what is the call being made? NRG evacuating that instant rotation from Victor now. Going to work well. We're gonna, oh no, we're going to have to see another retake. Have a, we're going to have to see another retake. Right. There's we'll no smoke, so every crossfire is available. Rambo goes down. Going to have a turret into this one as well if you want it. Reinforcing that space, but also giants. Ah, I'm so nervous again for them. Soms low, so they should be so fine with this. When does the stun come up for breach? Okay, stun just came up now. We have a recon. Recon stun coming in. Who's watching the? Yep. Okay. Recon went here. We dash out. Watch the timing like it spawn. Just trying to take the fight. Good movement. Flash in the hands, but the swing is good once more. Beaming them down now, rolling thunder, and they have gambled incorrectly as to where that player is. Nana Swarms, time running low, popped off. Victor needs to try and take the angle now to know that they're not back on it. Spam, it misses. Cloud has to stick this, it's their only out in this round. And Victor, what is the play being made? He breaks it, shuts it down. And despite the fact that he got half, it's not enough to claim the round. <laughs> Damn, dude. <laughs> Damn, dude. They cannot catch a break. What a sick half from NRG. Yeah, that was crazy dominant. Nice timing and all of that, though. Just knew he had to get the kill. Rhyme is... There's a lot of signs going from over there. There's a lot of hand gestures. They need a big reset for the next map. Well, they need a big reset for the rest of the, <laughs> the half. Obviously, that's coming up is in the next half, but this would be this would be, a, this would be something outrageous if we saw any kind of comeback here. No, it really couldn't. This has just been utter domination. This is them playing at the level that we kind of anticipated that they were going to be able to do. Not on Lotus, but you know things were a little bit rockier there. But Sideshow just mentioned it before he's down to us here for the uh, for the halftime. Yes, the post plants have been looking so much better for the side of energy. Something that was significant. But the post plants. But okay, I agree with what he's saying for sure. The post plants have been looking so much better. But in terms of the actual retakes and how they approach the retakes and just the and how they in terms of how they played C as well with the Astra, like that that was not great from Giants. They got exploited hard. Like their retakes on Lotus were top tier in terms of this and where everyone's positioning was. And even when they were leaving, like they didn't leave C, they just decided to fight C with an Astra. That's crazy. And again, NRG just exploited it. Shout out to Chet, because I've heard that a lot of like the good game plans are down to him. And I saw, even saw a Marv stream, he was just saying like, give Chet one demo and he'll he'll be able to create something good. Um, and definitely, I feel like a lot of the C stuff uh, in terms of looking at the Astra was him, so. For making these post spawns better, but a jet who's been struggling a little bit more is Patino, coming off of an insane individual performance 35 kills on Pearl to win his team that map. Mm. Feels like he's struggling a little bit here. It's still playing into those retakes, but this energy squad has They've, done Giants such a have honestly looked really good on this map, and, and that just and makes it even more impressive in terms of how uh, good NRG have been playing. DFM, the game plan for Giants, well, it was good on the attack. A lot of it was just kind of uh, gambiting Patino's life for this really fast early executes where he. He's dashing in and needs to be the it's been one of the better maps in terms of Giants. So I think a lot of this happened any rounds of until, Giants. Until literally this moment. This guy's performance. Yeah, well, look, it's going to be a tall mountain to climb, and it's going to feel like a mudslide for Giants with the way that the score is 11 to 1 right now. Let's send it back over to Brennan's sideshow and see if the Giants... Bit of a masterclass in terms of energy on that one, though. And they're going to have a lot of momentum oh, going into Icebox. Quite unlikely, honestly, the way this has been going so far. And you can see from the scoreboard as well. I mean, 
Ryan versus FNS in terms of that battle of the IGLs. FNS catching a blow from All right. First step, losing Logan, Giants have to win a pistol. Yeah, incredible, isn't it? And NRG's defense yeah, hasn't been the greatest, but it doesn't. Chat, when um, NRG played Icebox the other day, so much space in a lobby. I can't help who like was Ardis playing? Oh my goodness. Just As well, this is the uh, this is the old Vision Strikers pistol that Fnatic made popular. What the hell are those three jewels? It was Sage? Okay, I wonder... Oh, I mean, it, they're gonna have to keep Sage. Cloud, and he can hit up line going off, just trying to catch the same angles! Spamming it Cloud right 20 HP side. has to get an ace. Worried about Garage because the alarm bot got shot there. Really nice from Victor. Really, really nice from Victor. Shot the alarm bot, went all the way back. And again, chat, I, I, have, I have no idea how many... I, I don't think I've ever seen this pistol fail. Four, four people push. There's just a Killjoy getting information to here and here. And four people just go on. Vision Strikers created it about a year and a half ago. Fnatic used it in literally 80% of their havens. And it always, always wins. In his time with FEX. And yet, Ardis at this tournament looks significantly better just when you put him on the duelist. Sure. Just when he sat on Jet. Thanks, that Bacant. Yeah, you lot did it at, uh, was it last chance qualifying? Well, actually, I think it failed. Who was dominating on Lotus, playing the race from me lot. No duelist comp. Here, it's all about how Ardis is getting set up. Giants left to scramble. Big investment, obviously, with the guns. Oh, the swing chat. It's so <laughs> done. What a dominant performance. The final blow. Yeah, to stay alive, they don't. Absolute just got to stay alive Giants. in this one. Oh, there are two. two players remaining. The flank okay, by a lot of this well, is up to remaining. Victor. No one yep, one. not the cleanest one, but secures it. Hoodie 20 HP. This is too much to ask. Okay, Icebox is going to be interesting. But, but NRG have so much momentum. Like, this is such an answer back. They made Giants look awful on this map.